as an added bonus shoved inside of this book was another super surprise. Uh, this is a flyer for Gospel for Asia. Together we can reach them! Together! Together! After two thousand years of Christianity, how can it be? Nearly a billion souls perform rituals and bring sacrifices to more than 330 million deities! 331 million Muslims prostrate themselves in prayer towards Mecca five times a day. A sword worshiper sits on the beach staring into the rising sun until he eventually goes blind. Thousands of devout Buddhists renounce everything in life, leave their family and become monks, owning nothing but a saffron robe and a begging bowl. Why? Because they sincerely seek the forgiveness of sins, and because they are part of nearly three billion people living in the 1040 window today that are waiting to hear the gospel. Most of these multitudes have yet to hear the name of Jesus for the very first time. Unless they have had an opportunity during their lifetime to find salvation in him, they will die without hope. 500,000 villages in India alone have no gospel witness. How long must they wait. 80,000 people die daily in Asia without ever hearing the gospel. A letter from the founder, K.P. Yohananan. My dear friends, our lives are often so busy and full of our dreams and pursuits that eternity, all the joys of heaven and the cry of the lost world seem far away. But the harsh reality is nearly three billion people of our generation are still unreached with the gospel. What answers are we prepared to give the living God when he asks about these multitudes who are perishing? Today we are given the greatest privilege to let them hear about Jesus. We choose to make a commitment to live for those things that are eternal. I sincerely pray that the gospel for Asia will become a bridge, giving you the opportunity to walk away from your preoccupations to the harvest fields of Asia and see the perishing multitudes through the eyes of Jesus. May you allow God to use your life to change the destiny of millions through your prayers and partnership. A hundred years from now, you will be glad that you did. Yours for the lost multitude of Asia, K.P. Yohanana. And I guess you could volunteer, but the truth is, we like cash. We like cash. Yeah. Missionaries really do piss me off. Of course a starving person is going to say whatever you want them to say to get food. And then they take advantage by indoctrinating the children. That's what it is, right? Get them while they're young. I personally would like to see atheists missionaries going I don't give a fuck what you believe but hey why don't you use better farming techniques hey let's put a well in your town hey let me help you eat today and plan for tomorrow cause you're gonna have to eat tomorrow if you fucking live there's always a tomorrow and God doesn't give a shit, he doesn't exist, so don't pray to him, don't waste five minutes out of your day, wasted on that stupid shit when you're starving away.